when we were all at Goldsmiths in the late 80s, 90s, we didn't know what was to come. There were about six galleries in London that showed contemporary art and that was it. And there's got to be hundreds now, hundreds. I didn't set off to be a picture framer. I didn't set off to be involved in the art world at all. I left school at 16, went straight into engineering. Looking back now, that six years in engineer informed the idea of how do you actually assemble something and make something with uh, my art training. The crafting of the frame involves a lot of techniques. We use French polishing, gilding, hand-finished painted frames. All of these are highly skilled. Picture framing, in essence, is a, an old-fashioned business, one that's changed little since the Renaissance times, really. Well, I first started out working with Bailey when we got a call from his studio demanding a meeting. I'm really grateful that we've managed to work together now for the last eight years, beyond just a professional relationship, uh, as a friend as well. Thanks, boys. Thanks, baby. Well done. Where'd you go for breakfast, boys? Is there a greasy spoon around Picture framing is a craft, but there is an art to it as well. And that's judgment, the right size mount, the right colour of wood, what proportions it should be. That's all to do with having an eye. So he's waiting for baby to show up, that'd be good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't feel I ever left the art world as such. I may have moved from being an artist making art to picture framer, but it's still in the same world. You know, the art world has been my world for 20 years.